So in the last video, we looked at how to expand expressions when they're in the factorized form, which is like this one here. And the factorized form is called that because it's made up of two factors multiplying by each other. So when we have two brackets x plus 3, remember this means 2 is one of the factors, and we're multiplying by x plus 3. So we don't write the multiply symbol, but it still means multiply by 2. And with the cups and the straws, we drew this one by showing one group of x plus 3, one x plus 3, but because we have it multiplied by 2, we need to draw another group of x plus 3. And then we group the cups together. So we have 2 cups and 6 straws. So the way we write that with a number sentence is 2x's plus 6. So that's the expanded form now. The next thing we'll practice is a different model of doing expanding. It's always good to see things in different ways. And this model is called the grid model. So for this grid model, we have two different types of building blocks. We're using tiles. We've got X's, which are a long rectangle, and we've got ones, which are just the numbers. And these are a square. So, to make 2x plus 3, 2 lots of x plus 3, we need to remember that it's 2 times x plus 3, again, because these are two factors. And the way we're going to show that is with using a grid like this, to show that we're multiplying one side by the other. And this grid is just like when we learn our times tables. With our times tables, we write our factors along the edges, and then we multiply in the middle. So 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and so on. But for this model, we're using our tiles instead of just numbers. So for along the top, we're going to put our first factor, which is 2. So using our building blocks, we can, we're can we going to have to use numbers for this. So we'll need 1, 1, and another 1, which gives us 2 in total. And the other factor is x plus 3. So to make that, we're going to need 1x tile, which goes along like this. And then we need the number 3. So the building block we'll have to use here is the number 1, but we'll need 3 of them. And they'll line up like this. So now, just like with the times tables, we're going to need to multiply each row and column to find out what the expanded form is. So we'll start here, we've got x times 1. Well, one lot of anything is itself. So 1 times x is just x, and we'll draw our rectangle tile. Another 1 times x, that's x again. Then down here, we have 1 times 1. Well, that's just 1, so we'll use our number 1 tile. Here we have 1 times 1, and all the rest are just 1 times 1. And we need to check that it's a perfect rectangle in the middle, and yes, it's a rectangle, which shows we've finished doing the multiplying, and now we just need to group together all the like terms in the middle here. So we have 2x's, which means 2x, and we have 6 1's, which is just the number positive 6. And if we rewrite that as an expression, we have 2x plus 6. 
And we can see that's exactly the same answer as we got before when we did the cups and the straws. So this method is just another way of visualizing what we're doing to expand. So let's practice one more expanding using the grid model here. Let's try expanding three times x plus seven. So we'll draw out our grid and now we'll start with our three, the first factor. To make a three, we're going to need three of the one tiles. And then we have x plus seven. So we're going to need an x, which is the long tile, and then seven small ones, seven ones. Seven. Okay, and now we multiply every row by every column again. So we have x times 1, which is x, and another x times 1, and another x times 1. And then we have 1 times 1, and another 1 times 1, and another 1 times 1. And then we can see we have the same for the next 6 rows. So I'll just draw circles quickly to fill in the gaps, and these just represent one each. Okay, so now we've filled out our expanded form in the middle. And now we need to group all the like terms together. So we can see the x's. We have three of those, so we have 3x, and then we have three, well, we have seven rows of three. So seven times three is 21, positive 21. So the expanded form for that is 3x plus 21.